This video is sponsored by TrueGoro Public, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pin in the first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, guys, is March 24th, 2023. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. If this ding-dong thinks we wanted to pass a $1.2 trillion bill to stop the government from closing... She's in a different world than everyone I've ever met or know. Amy Club Buchar? Amy, you're a screwball. 2 a.m.ers. For everyone who's still awake, we just passed the budget and averted a shutdown. We want y'all to shut down. We don't want to give y'all another $1.2 trillion, period. You're welcome. Well, let's look at the actual responses to your welcome. It's time. Representatives no longer represent the people. We need a national referendum. Congress passed the second, uh, 22nd Amendment, limiting the presidential term to two terms. The most there should be is one term. They should not be paid. They should be successful business people in the world and one term, no pensions. They get a term and a half, they get pensions. I'm pissed. Right? That's government in a nutshell. Wasting staggering amounts of our money on useless garbage we didn't want, done in the first place, and then wanting a thank you for it? The whole bill was filled with pork. Pork means individual needs, or not even needs, wants for individuals' um, political gain. Will we ever end this forever wars, clean up government? I like where Robert F. Kennedy. Increase wealth for all and tell Americans the truth. The only thing keeping us out of depression right now are all these small wars. A big war would crush us. Small wars are very beneficial. Uh, I mean, you're welcome. Unfortunately, we have close to $135 trillion worth of debt and non-payable, non-payable OEs, along with Social Security, uh, Medicare, and Medicaid. Nobody thanks you for your corruption. You know, Russia's defense budget is about $80 million. Ours is 2.4 going to $2.7 trillion. Can y'all imagine the difference? And they're so far ahead of us. The whole thing's a, well, you know what it is. Look where John McCain is, right where his daughter needs to be. Right? We pissed away another one. Point two trillion of our money, our money. You're welcome. Don't thank yourself. Thank us. The only reason you have a job and you should not have a job is because look at Lindsey Graham, the biggest sellouts in Congress here. We can name them all, right? Can we not? Can we not? Look at Lindsey. Boy, I. Hope he's judged here on earth, and then I hope he's judged again um, on his next adventure. Patrick Webb at Real Patrick Webb. Disgraceful seeing the amount of willful spending by our government. Our politicians are spitting in the faces of Americans every time they pass a disgusting spending bill like this that they benefit from. Americans. Benefit in no way. I'm sure a lot of seats are about to be swapped in the upcoming. Well, you get it, right? TPL3. Trust me, we're not thanking you. 
They'll bid nothing to close our borders or help Americans. You can take that bill and shove it up where the sun don't shine. Amy, you are a moron. Obviously, clown world, USA. Everyone's laughing at us. Everyone. Black world bound, we'd all rather see a shutdown. Regardless of wages lost, they always pay them everything. When there's a shutdown, they always get all their full pay. It's a vacation, not a shutdown. Fix the screwball deal now. Period. You just screwed millions of Americans. Are you saying you're welcome? Uh, what a screwball. Five times August. You're a pretty horrible person. Uh, hopefully somebody, oh, I'll post this, share this too. Clifton Duncan, be grateful I exist. Peasants, that's what she's saying. He's being cool. You don't care about us. Proven time, time again. Ukraine, illegal aliens, First Amendment. Last. America last. Jenny M., you're a traitor to our country. You're welcome. What's that supposed to mean? Very weird. We all know you're a traitor. You think we're morons? We just don't know how to go about taking you out of your position. You need to, well, think about what's happening around you. It's the very nicest way I can put it. No one is on her side. She's so out of touch, such a moron. Only supposedly making 170 grand a year. I made five, six, 12 times that in my debut. While Americans struggle to pay their bills, our government spends our children's, grandchildren's deeper in debt. Stop spending massive amounts of money and driving up inflation. Get a balanced budget on the table, period. There's nothing to thank you for. You passed a $1.2 trillion spending bill without reading it. They had, they had 24 hours to read it, 1,100 pages. Well, we're at $34 trillion in debt. You need to resign, which... Now, this could go on forever. You didn't even have time to read it. Now, I would have had my 60 person, 65 person staff read it. And if someone made a mistake, I would have fired them. Did you have time to read it? How can you pass the bill you haven't read? You shouldn't know a thing about the bill. It's another bragging about spending our country in oblivion is not a good look for any politician. With no thought whatsoever about how terrible this is affecting Americans today and future generations, the debt we're in. I could show y'all this for hours, hours of rebuttals on this crap, passing a $1.2 trillion budget for yourselves? No, thank you. It just keeps going on and on and on. There's almost a million replies right now. It's so sad. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Tell that witch to off. Share. Share. Subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarre World.